Hello everyone! Welcome to the fourth video on a beginner's guide on how to twin motion. So, let's do some in-depth explanation of the library assets. Now, to access that, all you gotta do is click this arrow right here. This menu will appear. Let's go to objects, home, living room, chairs. Let's choose this one. To bring it out in our 3D scene, all you gotta do is click and drag it anywhere. Then next up, let's do something basic, such as copy and pasting. All you gotta do is click the element, press Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Okay, now the copied element is inside this one, so let's bring it out. There we go. Next up, what if I want to do multiple copies? Hold the Shift button, hover to this area here, this line, and click it. Move forward or backward. But let's do this one. Look at how it says 4.5 meters. Then let go of the mouse as well as the shift key. This menu will appear giving us this number. Let's say I want to make 5 copies and I will decrease this to 2 meters instead. This one we copied will move to 2 meters along with others with an offset of 2 meters in each one. So press OK. Alright, so... There's our multiple copies. Now, much like in Revit, you can press or hold CTRL or Control to individually click each element, like so. Now, with this, I can copy it multiple times like I did earlier by pressing the Shift or holding it again. And this arrow right here. So, let's make it here. The same menu will pop up making multiple copies of the three same objects so let's make it two and two, three numbers now there's our multiple copies and with that you can also rotate or move them along at the same time as long as they're highlighted by clicking this yellow here see as how i move all the objects that i've individually selected and also i can rotate them as i please and I can also change their scale by pressing tab. This one, it will only affect those that I have manually selected with control. See, better if we click this one so it can manually and specifically increase the scale of each one equally, as you see. Now, with that is done, Let's move on to materials, but first, let's delete the chairs that we made. Gotta click them all manually one by one. Oops, Control Z. Okay, now let's go to materials. Click back. This one. Let's go for concrete. Look at our assets. If you click one of each, you can see an example of them with the image appearing here. Let's try and use this one, for example. Now, to apply that, all you gotta do is click and drag it to an element. Let's choose our slab, for example, like this. Okay, and now look at the dock. Something new appeared, right? These are examples of modifications we can do. So. Let's play, let's play around it a little bit as well. Let's first start with color. Of course, it's self-explanatory. It changes the color of our material. As you see here, it changes real time. So if, you're, if we were to press OK, that will be permanent. So you, let's just make an undo. Next up, underneath color, you will see more, giving us plenty of options to choose from. Here, we can change the texture. Next up is the opacity mask, so you can just turn it off and on. Next up is the luminosity or its brightness. You can increase the gauge here, uh, wait for it for the icon to change. There, you can change its brightness. Also, if you were to highlight to the number, you have the capability to change it via numbers instead of using the gauge. So let's turn it back to 50. Next up, the grunge. If you want to see the image, make it 100%. As usual, you can change it here, so let's make it back to zero. Next up, the sound. So if you remember, we can go back to being a 
uh, to move via person like this. So if I were to go forward to it, we'll hear a sound, right? That's the sound of wood right there. So to change that, let's click it here. And obviously, let's make it concrete. So let's go back. And if I were to walk here, now sounds concrete. Oh, right. Let's go back to drone mode or flying mode by pressing M. Press Q. Let's go back to this view right here. Now, to go back to our previous option, you cannot press escape or anything else. All you gotta do is just click this text right here and we're back to this menu. Next up is the reflection. So with reflection and scale, let's zoom in a bit. There, okay. If you increase the scale, you will see the image change a bit. There, of course, the scale differs depending on our distance. So if I change this to 10 and if I were to go far from it, you can see the image. But if I were to change it to 0 or to 1, you will see how it becomes smaller. Next up is the reflection. Focus your sight here in this area. If I change the reflection, increasing it to 100%, you will see some difference. Look at that. So I will do it again. Of course, with a, with a better lighting, you will see much more of a difference, but that alone can see what has changed for us. So let's leave it to reflection 100, seems it looks better like this. And let's change the scale to, all right, let's leave it at 10 as well. Next up is the settings. Unfortunately, we cannot play around with weather for now. So let's go to settings. Let's go to glow. Obviously, if you increase it, it gives off a very strong brightness. Next up is metalness. Very self-explanatory. Others, we cannot use for now. And x-ray, it just makes it a little bit more visible for us and very distinct. So that's it for materials. Now let's try to attach or put more materials to our wall here. Let's choose like maybe a brick. Now let's look for brick. What do you think would be a good design for us? Let's try this dirty brick. So again, all you gotta do is click and drag like so, there. But dirty brick doesn't seem to look good. So let's try and use painted brick. And as you see from our distance, it doesn't look much like a brick, right? So to fix that, let's try to increase our reflection a little bit. 100% looks glossy and metal. Let's make it like this. And, I, and lastly, increase the scale to maximum. And if you can't click it, I'm having a hard time clicking it. I will use the text instead. I believe 10 is the maximum there see now it's looking better we can see our material even if from afar all right now next up let's try to change our door color if possible as well as our stairs let's look for a good material for that one i think dirty brick should do good for our stairs seems fine but we've overused the brick let's try something else what about wood or concrete you know what let's go for wood wood siding would have been a good wall material but never mind that i believe there should be something good here for our stairs this one the winch let's try this all right looks nice Right, this looks good so let's just increase the reflection a little bit that's too much and of course scale to maximum ah doesn't look good there that should be enough next up the door
can see what it looks like okay all right let's try chestnut no it's difficult to see I think that should be good for now yeah it looks a lot better actually we just can't see it due to the brightness or rather the shadows and we can change that later on all right so i think everything's good enough for now in our exterior walls everything's looking good now let's go inside and fix the walls right now that we're inside let's either add some wallpapers Let's look at our options. Let's try mahogany. I believe I came across that, this one. Or di let's try mahogany. All right, it looks good. So let's go to the other room. Okay, mahogany looks good. Now let's add some materials such as chairs and sofas. Now go back, objects, home. Let's try living room let's add some wall tv here let's use curved tv you know what never mind let's use a wall tv look how it automatically mounts itself in the wall let's try to change the scale a little bit should be good all right now that's better now let's put a table here should be this one all right let's keep looking for a good small stool table for underneath the tv this button here means by the way if you click it it will download it so let's try this for example see that circle buffering thing it's downloading and you also you can pause it whenever you like but you know what Ah, never mind, it's already done downloading, so let's drag it here and see what it's going to look like. Alright, that's taking a little bit too long. Okay, there's our downloaded item, but since we don't need that, let's delete it. Let's look for something more. This one. Alright, so let's place this. Seems a little big, so... Let's reduce the scale, make it a little bit shorter, somewhat longer. Now let's rotate it. Okay, that should be good enough. There. Next up, let's maybe put a plant here. Where are the plants? Home, living room, plants, this one. Let's try this. Mm, too small this one too big all right that doesn't look good i think this is gonna look good nope ah perfect let's try this okay looking good now unfortunately since we don't have that much time left i already did this myself so to to do this part all you gotta do is look for kitchen to show you what I've done, kitchen and appliances. So these are what I used. Next up are the tables here, chairs. Now, where did I find that? I think it's in living room, chairs. Should be in tables. There, I've used a blade for this one. Next up, the sofa, go back, sofa, and reverence, either the one-seater or the two-seater. Next up, let's go to the bathroom or the toilet area. Here's the toilet area. So, how I did that, I went to the plumbing area, or rather bathroom area, sanitaries. These are all the assets I've used. Next, let's go to the bedroom. 
this one. So, really easy. I went to the bedroom area. I've used this bed. And for the wardrobe, I've used storage. And lastly, for these equipments, keep going back until you see the gym. And these are all the elements I've used. Alright, so I guess that's it for this video. If you do find this tutorial helpful, you can help me by liking and subscribing. For any questions and suggestions, please do comment below. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much, guys.